Hello you guys and girls, I'm back with the, my last video for the day because I'm actually getting tired because as you can see it's like 12.57 a.m. U.S. Central Time but today's last video is going to be my thoughts and opinion about every Pokemon generation what I like and what I dislike now please respect my comments because there's not that many bad things, but there's like a couple of things I don't like, but there's not that many. So anyway, let's get started with Gen 1. Uh, I do have Pokemon Yellow Virgin on my DS, and I played it. Now I gotta say, I actually do like the game, and how, how the old designs kind of evolved throughout the generations. But the one thing I don't like about these games is that it's... It's just too easy. I destroyed this game in like three days. I got bored with it so quickly. But I did transfer my Mewtwo, Ar well, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. And then I turned them shiny. And then I cloned the Mewtwo just for the fun of it. But hey, free hitting ability Pokemon is right there. Hmm. Other than that, I actually do enjoy the game. Walking around. I was a fighting arrival that actually put up a small challenge, but also destroyed real easy. The game kind of got upsetting afterwards. Moving on to Gen 2, like the, the original, I do have Pokemon Silver on my DS as well. I beat this game like under three days as well. This game put up a small bit of more of a challenge. I also forgot to mention in Gen 1, it was actually hard to catch a legendary, so I had to look it up. And I just learned how to do the most to catch them, which was kind of upsetting. But I put Mewtwo to sleep and cat caught it in, like, the first Pokeball. With... that was mind-blowing. The Pokemon Silver was more challenging than the Gen 1 games, which I kind of like. But yet, I still can beat it with ease. Because I'm kind of more skilled. And this is like one of the recent games I've played. But. Other than that. It was actually a fun game. Gen 3. I actually play Emerald on my phone. But the original Gen 3 game I played was Pokemon. Sapphire I believe. That game. Was very hard. Like. The hardest. One of the hardest Pokemon game I ever did. But I still powered through it. It took me like a week to beat it. That's how you know it's a good game. If it takes you a week. Got to make you go back and plan and train. To make your Pokemon even stronger. That is a good game. Even Steven put up a good challenge. I like it when the champions actually give you a challenge. Pokemon Fire Red. Again. Did not put up that much of a challenge but the power through it but when I got to Elite 4 my game file deleted so I got upset also play this on my phone I'm also like doing like you know playthroughs as y'all all are seeing okay my original first game was Pokemon Platinum with Giratina I don't remember my original team but Pipla was my first Pokemon now I gotta say playing this as your first Pokemon game was extremely difficult I was so confused when I got to the first gym I kept losing even though I had a water type it was kind of getting sad quickly but this game was hard but it was fun nothing really bad to say about it and also nothing bad to say about gen 3 it was just that it was challenging a little bit oh and getting to Cynthia was not easy at all I kept losing a lot. Pokemon Soul Silver. Now, little fun, little fun story. When I was a kid with my sister and my dad, we watched Pokemon 2000 together as a family. So I actually really loved Lugia back then too, and how they played like the flute just to like give it strength and fight again, and how it stopped the world from ending. So I picked up Pokemon Platinum as my second Pokemon game. And I gotta say, it was not as hard at the beginning, 
But I keep getting turned around and confused and lost it all at once. But when I got to Elite Four, it was a bit hard. Hard. It was, it was very hard to do. I thought just because I had a legendary, I would automatically win easily. Pokemon Black and White, Black 2 and White 2, Gen 5. This game was one of my favorite ones. It was not that hard, but it was hard as well. Especially Iris, my favorite champion. Also, Roxy was my favorite gym leader. Also, Lisa. I don't know why, but I actually like her gym, even though it's like a long walkway. Then At first, it was a roller coaster, then a walkway. Gotta say, love it, but I really hate that demon squirrel of hers. The thing I don't like about Gen 5 would be... I don't think I don't like anything about Gen 5. Because me and my friend actually, like... This is the game that actually brought me and my friend Taylor very close. So, we actually bonded over Gen 5. So, Gen 5 actually holds a place in my heart. And I also love the way that they gave, like, mythical Pokemon their own little event. Like, the Pokemon company should, like, redo something like that. Like... Like if we go to a music store, Meloetta will start doing the little song and dance, the real long relic song, go into a sacred place or any type of mythical Pokemon to get a form change or a power up. That'd be nice. Moving on to Gen 6, Pokemon XY, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Again, not really hard games at all. Kind of blow through them a little bit, but I kind of had. I don't think I had a small challenge because I kind of threw a Pokeball at their knees and just caught it. I did not really have to do much. Just throw a Pokeball and catch. Yeah, the only complaint is that it's kind of a little more easier than any other Pokemon games. But I actually do love like the, the surroundings, the graphics. And I actually like how they give us roller skates. But then again, it kind of got annoying because I used D-pad to run and walk around. But still like these games. And then when it comes to Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, no really complaints. Perfect. These games are actually more perfect when it comes to like training, leveling up your Pokemon to level 100 quickly. Breeding is still a little hassle, but it kind of got a little more easy. And I got most of my shinies from this game, so. I made shiny hunting easy, so no complaints for real. Now, the seventh generation Pokemon Sun Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. Kind of hand holdy, but if you don't know what you're doing, these games can be hard. Like, literally, if you want to challenge, want these games to be challenging, you guys gotta pick a team that isn't that strong, but at the same time, you still gotta progress through the games and the cutscenes. And also like Ultra Necrozma and And also How. How is not a bad rival. I actually do like How. He's a cool he, he's like that buddy that always there to have your back when you're down. And Gladian is just just Gladian. He just looked like he needs a hug. Man, Lily. Lily is Lily. Cosmog in his evolution brought like new things to the table, even all all three of them are Ultra Beasts. You know, that could be also an argument. But yes, I think they're Ultra Beasts. And also, Ultra Beasts are like a cool concept to me. No complaints there. And then the last go games. Even though I never played them, I'm pretty sure these games gonna be like a, a breeze to me. But the only... I think I disliked a couple of things at first. Like for example, like the way that they... Like the how they um, showcase catching Pokemon. I know not many people would like that, but because you know the goal aspect, I didn't even like go at first because it requires me to move around. I'm pretty much a lazy person, but I've actually recently started playing Go, so starting to get exercise in, which is a good thing. Because if I lay around, one or two things might end my life. And what else I didn't like about these games? I bet you do like a lot of other things like graphic updates and the cool cutscenes and stuff. But I mean, I don't mind. It's a Gen 1 remake. No complaints about that. 
graphics are good except for they made us look like kids we can play with friends there's nothing wrong with that uh that's right that was another thing that i did not and said i didn't like about these games hmm i cannot remember what it was let's see there's nothing wrong oh the other thing i did not like about these games was that it's a gen 1 only exclusive i would kind of like to see like other generation of Pokemon in this type of cool art style and also like in the in the games and even though these games don't have any Pokemon with abilities and stuff like that I don't really think these games are for competitive unless you just want to throw out your Pokemon constantly spam growl or leer or tell tell whip and then just keep lowering their attack and defense and then hit them. I would suggest doing that. But other than that, these games are just like for the story. And if you want to like challenge a friend, if you want to do like a friendly competition or who's stronger in a way. But yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these games because I know a lot of people are going to probably get on me about that, but... Maybe fine. I respect their opinions if they respect mine. Of course. Oh, okay. I remember what the other thing was. Give me like a quick second. It's from the very first video they did. It's the one thing I truly did not like them saying. Too far. Uh, here it is. Don't need to play that. If it popped up. There it is. Your first adventure. And then it says told in a like different way or story. I don't like that it said your first adventure because this is not my first Pokemon adventure. Like I said, Pokemon Platinum was my first adventure. They should have said that for like if they put all the regions together. It says all of your first adventures like in one story in one game. Then that would be cool, but other than that, Rival and everything else is cool to me, but I just don't like the whole it's your first adventure told in a different story but that's about it i dragged this video on too long i guess i'll see y'all later don't forget to do don't forget these magic three words